Here we go again with another catfish being a real person, and we're going to do all this gymnastics again. Go figure. Check it. Hey, what's up? My name is Mizu. You're watching my channel, Mizu14, and I'm back doing the view of MTV Catfish, Season 9, Episode 9, Ayla and Gabby. If you're wondering about my last week episode of Alex and Jeremy, I had done the review of that, but it wasn't like a pre-recorded review like my other ones. It was on a live. So somewhere in this video, I will post a link. I will put the link like the top right corner here or in the end of the video. You will see the live of when I did the catfish and just watch the live and you can check the uh, review of it because you know my DVR recorded half of the episodes so I had to watch it later on than I normally have so it had to be late to review but I did it so catch it live and watch it and you will check it out but this week episode is Ayla and Gabby and to be honest it was even all that but I'm gonna get through it because I'm not gonna try to make this long you know normally I like to gabble but you know you forget but I'm just going to get straight to the point and just let it be because it wasn't much to say. All right, so we got Ayla. She's 24 years old. She's a medical technician. She lives in Georgia. She met with this girl named Gabby on a lesbian website, and they've been talking for like a year. Gabby lives in 25 years, 25 years old. She lives on Long Island. And they really connected to a major thing. A major really thing they connected with is a medical condition with a sickle cell anemia. And I know how tough that could be and finding support. Because I know sometimes people can't really be there for you or don't want to handle. You keep kind of going to the hospital and transfusions and stuff like that and blood to keep yourself healthy and live a normal life. Because I know I don't have sickle cell in you, but I do have like low blood. And sometimes so I get cold fast, I got a little iron, so I'm trying to pump that back up. But I had that for a while now since I was young, a child. So it's just like no matter how much iron I'm trying to pump in, it's still just not going anywhere. But at the end of the day, I understand that finding someone that you can connect at that level and understands you, I understand how Ella and Gabby got to connect with each other and talk through that. Be At least be there for each other. But Ella told us at random times that Gabby be ghosting her. It been like a couple of days. Or weeks, and then she come back out of nowhere like it's nothing, no tomorrow. I was like, "Girl, <laughs> we not gonna be doing this because I'm gonna try to find like we ain't trying to give me anything, so I'm just gonna stop talking." But this tick breaks. But they will talk on the phone. But when Ayla trying to Facetime her, she don't want to Facetime. She declines it, or she just going to pause or whatever, or she don't show her face on the camera and everything. So it's like, what's the point? to do all that if you can't FaceTime. Especially if, if you the real person, like I, me, and another person who does a lot of cash reviews, Auntie Momo, please check her out. We don't like when it's the real person. It's like, what's the point? Are we going through this? Just be straight up and let's go forward. But but we find that Ayla, um, Ayla had been by herself. She's 16 years old because she said her dad passed away and her mom couldn't really handle it. So it's like they lost the house and she was like homeless at the time. She was going back and forth driving. So she drove off driving and going to work and trying to make ends meet. And now she's been on her own. She's been on her own since. So it's like she be, she went through a lot, going through a lot. And strong, independent woman. And that's a, a beautiful woman, too. So. They do have each other Instagram, but other than that, they may mainly talk on the phone. And Ayla said she sent her pics to her a lot, but she don't really get much pics from Gabby that much. And she said that Gabby looked like a model or because she's beautiful. But other than that, that's it. Besides that, she's been ghosted. And wondering why is she's ghosted her in the first place. So Neve and Cammy said, okay, we're going to help you, girl. We're going to help you. Let's get to it. So they checked Instagram, the pics, and they saw like one picture of her feet up in a hookah lounge. And that's it. And then they checked other photos. It was no hit. So usually that means if it's not connected to some like major personal influences like that, it could be possibility that person is the real person. So 
they checked the Instagram. It's not really much post. They, it was mostly, oh, let's collab. Let's do this. Not really personalized posts on your uh, pictures, especially if you're supposed to be a popular person, but you really have much post. So they checked the Instagram handle, and they came to a person named Jaleesa. So they checked the name of Jaleesa and uh, Facebook, and they said Jaleesa is 26, live in Staten Island. Now, Long Island and Staten Island are both in New York, so it's like it's not really hard to get to one place and everything. I mean, you just got to drive a distance, it's like that. But um, they're both in New York, so it's like, why are you saying Long Island when you're in the Staten Island? So they saw a picture, it looked like it's the same picture of Gabby in Facebook. With the face, it wasn't the face, it was just the mouth, and it looked similar. And that's it. And the Facebook had like one picture as well. So it said this could be Jaleesa. But while she was saying her name was Jaleesa, when it's supposed to be Gabby. Well, other than that, they checked the picture of the hookah lounge, the name of the hookah lounge, whatever, and they say realized it was a hookah lounge in Staten Island of where she's at. So I was like, oh, so she probably is in Staten Island. That's the connection. So they um, brought I, um, Ella to speed, let her know about that, and told her everything I just told you. And she said, this is kind of weird. What's going on? So I said, the only place we could do is to call her. So they called her, and she answered the phone. And she was like, oh, my God, why she called Catfish? That's a little extreme. I said, extreme? I mean, she wanted to meet you. Like, if you could have met her, this would have been the order order this. So she said, but it's a lot of things I had to tell her. She just don't know. And she said, how do you feel about Ella? She said, she said, I'm not comfortable answering that question on the phone. And I said, usually people say, well, I love her. Or I care about this person. I don't want to see me hurt. That's what usually Catfish will say. But she just said, I'm not comfortable. And everything. So I said, okay, can we meet you? And they think, because she's in New York and saying, I meet you. And Anna did tell her, say, it's no problem. She's from New York. She was no problem from getting on the plane and trying to go down there and everything. She wanted to go to, to visit. But every time we get to the point, she just like, just pause and don't say nothing. She said, okay, you can meet me in Staten Island. So she said, Staten Island, Staten Long Island. She originally told Ella. So we all do know she lives in Staten Island. So she said, Staten Island. So they got on the plane. They flew down there. I fly up up, all that haters. I fly up up. <laughs> Shout out to Candy. And they flew over there and got there. It was raining, you know, New York rains a lot. So it rains, pours, and it's told them it was going to meet at a park. So they meet at the park, they wait there, and we saw somebody walking down. Lo and behold, it's the real um, Gabby. Her name is Gabby. It's no Jaleesa. She don't know nothing about that page. She don't know how no Facebook page by name Jaleesa. It's this Gabby. So it was like, so what's going on? Why have you been ducking the dodging? Whoop, like little kid. But she was just like basically saying, uh, I, I was married. No, not I was. She said, I'm married. She just came out straight saying it. She said, I'm married. And but we have been we have been separated. And we all working on the divorce. So she said, but the person. She's married to it's giving her a hard time and push her along and push it, pushing her back. So it's put along in a divorce. So that's that. And then she said she was also in a relationship with someone and that she's still up with the ex and she's still trying to get back with the ex. So I would say, so where that leaves room for Ayla? And she was saying, um, when she was talking to Ayla, she was in a relationship. Having one point, and then she broke it up with the person last summer, and she had some feelings for Ella, but you know, at that time, it just said she still was working on the ex, and it wasn't going any further. So basically, she was saying that it wasn't to be going forward to the relationship aspect. She did like that Ella was there for her, checking up on her, because you know they had a shared common medical goal, medical condition. So it was like, it was easy for them to connect with each other. But at the same time, Ayla had, um, Gabby had not revealed that she was in relationships or married and was in a relationship. So it was just like cut and dry like this that quick. If you were so easy to tell her that there, why you didn't tell her that you was married and I'm going through divorce and I was in a relationship, maybe she would have still probably talked to you, probably not a relationship kind of way, but still be in a friendship. Because it's kind of weird. And she wasn't given much from that. She said everything else she said was real, but um, she just said she just said revealed that she was in a relationship and she was married. And that's it. But she could, at the time, Ayla said she had enough. She couldn't really deal with that. She had to walk away. Carrie went to talk to her. Need stay by, stay behind and talk to um, Gabby. 
Gabby, and Gabby was saying that yeah, she likes her and everything. Um, but is this really complicated? I don't think you'll see any future. But she, it was like she could see herself. She said she could see herself with Gabby because this is her person she would date. She would take give her time to. But other than that, not much. So she was saying all that with Neve, right? So when Ayla and Cammy came back, they said that they said she said, I'm sorry. So Neve said, anything else? She said, Oh no, that's it. I said, girl, did you say you could see yourself with Gabby along with Ayla and you could be in a relationship and you liked her and stuff like that? And sorry that all this went down. Like you had more to say than just to say you saw me just pause and say today like it's nothing tomorrow. So they said, okay, we'll give us time. Let's come back the next day and meet up. They say, cool. They came up the next day. They met at the place, at her place. And she just said it was sorry about everything going on. She did care about um, um, Ella, but she wanted a friendship. And it wasn't like something that was supposed to be going serious in a relationship. But Thinking, Ella said, I'm not with it. She said, Listen, at the end of the day, this is from Bull Club because like, if you really felt that way, you could have just be straight up. You just came out and said, You married, and it's like that. Like, the way how you went about it, it just kind of was off putting for Ella. And she said, Nah, in a relationship, it's could be, you could just been like, You don't care about my feelings. She said, Yeah, I do care. And she was starting to cry. I can't. She said, You know, because if you did, you would have told her. And I said, yeah, You could have just said straight up that you know, relationship. Maybe people was, will probably still talk to you. <laughs> Now, these days, Chad, people don't care about no figure people with relationship status <laughs> that much. <laughs> Shoot, you can tell them you have a man. They say, okay, and? Oh, you got a woman. Okay, and? I still want to talk. What's up? They still freaking hook up. So, at the end of the day, if you're just truthful, people want to understand. But when you hide the truth and then you try to live the truth later and try to strong on them like that, they should have been there. I said, nah, that's not how they work. So, she want to build a friendship. And I said, let's see how this goes. And Anna said, yeah, it won't be no relationship because... After that, I was saying maybe I'm not the type. I'm not the type of person who will just turn your back on you. And I understand that how it's go through the medical thing. So I would still reach out. So two months later, Ella and Gabby haven't really been. They have been talking, but not to the point to the extent it was. It just was a friendship, like a checkup on them. But it just hasn't been to that state like they was talking like they have been. So it's still in not in a really hundred percent place. But chat here and there, but it's not what it was. And it's a uh, it's Gabby Ford a little bit. And it was Gabby Ford to the point that how it ended like that. But understand that they do have a shared common medical goal and condition. So I think that's something that could check up on each other and see how you're doing and stuff like that. At the same time, they both was in the hospital just recently too. One with twelve days, one ten days. So Gabby focused herself, and go focus on her, and that's that. So it's nothing from there. So that was my review of MTV Catfish of Ella and Gabby. Stay tuned for next week. And like I said, last week review will be somewhere this link for this video. So you can check on that. All right. Hope you enjoyed the review. I know it's kind of short, but hey, it is what it is. I'll see you next week. Peace out.